Hello Mohawk, on this episode of MoCast we get into the Red Hill Creek with about 60 of our engineering technology students and then we hang out with our Mohawk Student Association President, Max Brown. Richard, why are we standing here in the Red Hill Creek? Come on, Jay, it's our annual shower. Here we go. All right. No, no actually we're here with our uh, first year building construction sciences, and we're learning about uh, fluid flow, stream flow, and how, how water behaves in, uh, in creeks, starting with creeks and then working down towards pipes. How many students are here? Uh, we have 55 students right now, and uh, they're all first year, first semester students. So this is uh, this is an incredibly high level of commitment from from our students. Yeah, and th this is all voluntary. Right? This is sort of a an extra to their regular classes. Oh, absolutely. This is all on their own time. They had to get their own way here. We just provided the equipment and the opportunity, and and it's it's uh, really encouraging to see this many out here. Hey, did they know what they were in for? Well, I only told them they'd get wet, and I told them to bring a change of clothes from the waist down. That's that's pretty much all I told them. So it's uh, it the, these fellows here behind me are. They're in the deep end. Yeah, <laughs> they're uh, very deep. They're almost up to their neck there. So it's uh, it's great, and it seems I mean from the sounds of it, they're uh, they're enjoying themselves. So now you could teach this in the classroom. What's the value of having the students out here getting wet? Besides the fact that they can be like kids. Well, yeah, the fun factor is huge, but obviously when you engage and manipulate with the material yourself hands-on, it just it, it increases that depth of learning and that retention. So uh, so they're actually, they're not just learning a formula, they're actually applying the formula in real life, and, and, uh, and they're, they're able to see that math in, in action. Um, I've had students in, who've done this last year and have come back to me, and they still talk about this trip and how, how they understand the continuity equation just from, from one trip. So it's, it's incredible to see that. Your group has chosen the deepest part of this part of the Red Hill Creek. Why was that? Um, I think we're a little, uh, I think we're overachievers. So, yeah, I, my group is just ambitious to get into the water and, I, get, I don't know, get wet. Why did you choose to come out on a Thursday night to do that? I think it's a great experience. I'm learning a lot being out here. I'm getting hands-on, tangible experience that I can relate to within my course. You're in your first semester, so what are you thinking of getting into? I'm, right now I'm in architecture, so um, I'm into sustainable and affordable housing, so um, that's, you know, the long-term goal is to hopefully change the code within Ontario to have more sustainable and more affordable housing options for people, and, and at the same time hopefully make an impact on the environment. And you'll always remember the time you stood in the Red Hill Creek. I definitely will, yeah, I can't forget this. So we're here now with the president of the Mohawk Students Association and a proud accounting grad, Max Brown. Max, how are you? Any better and I wouldn't deserve it. You know what, that's the best answer I've yet to get to that question, so congratulations. Listen, when did you get involved in student government and why? I got involved my first year, and then my second year I started my uh, office as the, on the board of directors. I mostly got involved because I wanted to help out my fellow classmates and you know, get the voice of all students kind of heard amongst the college exec. Right. What was your campaign slogan? Um, <laughs> don't frown, vote brown. So I imagine the MSA has a whole laundry list of priorities that you have to tackle in the coming year. What would be at the top of your priority list? Top priority would probably have to be single representation. Currently we have a couple of associations on campus that represent the students, so we're trying to fold it all into one uh, big unison. So part-time, full-time, CE, DE, apprenticeship, we're trying to get it all in, under one roof. And the benefit uh, for doing that for students would be what? Just, they know where to go, as opposed to, you know, do I go here, do I go there? They know that there's one solid location in which they can get the advocacy, get the support, get the services, get that representation. Okay. Now, some people might think that the MSA is all about the Arnie and the Cellar and pub nights. You are more than that. We are definitely more than just the pub nights in the Arnie. So we, we have the health plan, which is huge for students. We have the HDR bus pass. We have a ton of services that we offer. We support students every day, events, and just simply through advocacy and making sure their voice is heard. So when you're not advocating on behalf of students, as the president of the MSA, you're in a band. What kind of a band are you in? Uh, it's a bit of a heavy metal band. Okay, where did this come from? Where did you get this interest to be in a heavy metal band? Uh, well, you're like, you're like going to be an accountant in a heavy metal band. Yeah, yeah, I know a few friends. We sat down, started playing. We, uh, we we all had our own interests in metal, so we thought, hey, you know what? We all play. We like metal. Let's let's start a band. Okay. And your musical interests? Did you take training for that, or is it just sort of a God-given gift? 
Oh, no, there was definitely training. My dad was very adamant on me taking lessons when I was younger. Okay, so you can close us out. You're not going to play Children of Bodom. would no. make a good cover, <laughs> but we're not going to do that. So I will let you take it away. Uh, there's two pianos, so we can actually do like a Billy Joel, uh, Elton John kind of duet if you wanted, or maybe we should just <laughs> let you play. I'll, I'll just do my thing then. How about that? Go for it, Max. <laughs> All right. Perfect. <laughs> have a whole lot of Mohawk grads who are outstanding in their fields. I'm here standing in a creek and yes, I will be here all week. 